I usually don't invest into small cap company these days, but I found an alcohol company recently where I invested for a special reason. And I'll talk about that in the nugget section today. Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 17 September. Now, Bajaj Finance did not like my statement yesterday, especially my comparison to Ola. Both Ola and Bajaj Housing Finance were up 10% today. Now, Bajaj Housing Finance is roughly one third of the market cap of Bajaj Finance, its parent, but that is at one tenth revenue. Also, Bajaj Finance has better margins than Bajaj Housing Finance for obvious reasons. Today, I have introduced a dashboards for IT, and when I talk about that, there is a special request for Infosys and TCS employees, if anyone is watching. Now, today was an interesting day. Two auto companies, iChar Motors and Tata Motors, are at the rock bottom and two auto companies Hero Motors and Bajaj Auto are at the top. Seems like two wheelers are more in demand than four wheelers and commercial vehicles. Bharti Airtel continues to defy gravity up another 1.6%. Today the market bet kept changing but still four out of the five heavyweights were in the green. Only IT was dragging the index down in the heavyweights. The balance was reasonable. Telecom was the star sector today despite so many reds in the top 10. Mainly because Bharti Airtel was up again 1.6%. Bharti is closing in on 10 lakh crores. The sector which was dragging everything down today was defense. Today the big boys BL and HL were down most 3%, 2.1%. Now three companies are in the red. Cochin Shipyard, BDL, GRSE. Red means more than 50% distance from 52 week high. Both Nifty and Bank Nifty had reasonably peaceful day today. Nifty is now up for the second consecutive day. Bank Nifty for fourth consecutive day. The trading range for Nifty was 83 points. Nifty went up till about 11 o'clock and then consolidated in a very narrow range. And Nifty missed another all-time high by just 5 points today. Bank Nifty was narrower with a trading range of 0.35% but it was a little choppy, went up and then came down. There's only one sharp V that was at the beginning of the day, 175 points up and then 150 down. The fine balance was reflecting very well in the indices today. Nifty, Bank Nifty, Nifty IT, Nifty Energy, nearly everything was up just 0.1-0.2% only. The mid caps were down 0.3%. Auto was up 0.3%. FI's buying spree continued. Also, the net amount was low, 483 crore. DIA's also continued, 874 crore. These are net numbers. The actual buy and sell numbers were high only. There are two stocks which hit 52 week high today. ICICI Bank, Airtel, Reliance, HDFC, SBI and Larson and Tubro are the only ones remaining which are not in the 95 to 100% zone. LNT is moving closer 0.9% up today. Gold and silver have minor profit booking happening today. Bitcoin is trying hard to breach 60,000. Currency has appreciated a little in the last two days. Brent is moving up now nearly $73 per barrel. This is the one year graph of Airtel. This is the one year graph for ICICI Bank. Airtel has hardly ever been oversold. So is ICICI besides this point when HDFC Bank was going up a lot and November of last year. So if you're a trader, then trade with caution in terms of the overbought numbers. Some stocks always remain overbought when they are in a bull run. The US markets have suddenly developed a dislike for apples. Rest everything is green. These are today's prices. Look at Microsoft. S&P also is on a winning streak, seven straight green days. This is ahead of the Fed chairman's address where interest rates are expected to go down. Now, since in the Nifty, more stocks were in the green zone than not in green zone. I sorted on what is not in green. Adani Enterprises is at the top. It is 26% away from 52 week high. Wipro is closest, nearly 5%. LNT, SBI Live, Dr. Ready, HDFC, Power Grid, and so on. The list goes up. Back to our standard graph 25 stocks down today, 25 up. Airtel was the topper, followed by Bajaj Auto, NTPC, LNT, and ICICI Bank. What was down? Tata Motors, ITC, Adani Ports, Coal India, and TCS. The fear zone primarily comprises of Tata Motors, Shriram Finance, Coal India, BPCL, and then the banks, Axis Bank, Indescent Bank, ICICI Bank, and HDFC Bank. Next 50, 28 stocks down, 22 up. One beverage was a topper. It was at number 50 yesterday. In the winners, the next stocks were Bosch, ABB, Adani Green, Trent. In the distance to 52 week high, three Adani stocks out of the top four. The fourth one is IRFC. Let's go to some of the special charts for the day. ICICI Bank hit a 52 week high. It was choppy for most of the day. However, it closed in the green only. Airtel was up whole day. 
in the later part of the day it consolidated another lifetime high atl is continuously in the overbought zone right now tcs opened with a gap down and went down further then recovered slightly in the red for the day not very far off from 52 week high however banks were mixed back today hdfc bank was down ICICI Bank and Bank Nifty looked similar. SBI was down, Kota Coindra was up, PNB fell a lot, 2.5%. IRFC is going down on a daily basis right now. So is PFC. Also noted the cuts in PFC and IRFC are big every day right now. This is the new dashboard I was talking about. IT, the top companies. HCL Tech made a new high. LTI Mindtree made a new high. Tech Mahindra made a new high. Oracle Financial Services made a new high. Info Edge made a new high. Persistent made a new high. Six. Seven out of these 12 companies made a new all time high today. Now, here is the request for TCS and Infosys employees. Kindly listen to Mr. Murthy and work few hours extra every week. Your customers as well as investors will love it and maybe you'll get 1% extra in your next increment. This is just a request from an ordinary investor. Defense today was really, really weak. Nearly every stock was down. And nearly everything was down anywhere between 1 to 3 percent. Metals also only Vedanta was up a bit, rest nearly every stock was down. In the consumption pack, Britannia and Marico hit another all time high today. Page Industries also was up. The winner today was Varun Beverages up four and a half percent. No attempt by beers to pull the stock down today, completely in the green zone. BSC made another all time high in the very start of the day, but then immediately corrected and then never tried to go up again. It was down 3% for that day. It may come down a lot more because I have still not found any major reason for BSE to go up the way it did yesterday. Banking stocks, IRFC and Power Finance were down, but the market cap is not that high. Just ICICI Bank was sufficient to not let the banking index drag today. Auto was up because Bajaj Auto and Mahindra and Mahindra were up a lot, but the discount season has started. Car dealers have started offering some freebies. To clear the stuck inventory. So if you are planning to buy a vehicle now, bargain hard. IT sector Zomato was bleeding today and towards the later part of the day, info is corrected. Profit booking. Rest everything was okay. Persistent was up 1%. Nothing substantial in the energy pack either. NTPC was up another 1.3%. IOC BPCL corrected today also. Godfrey Phillips went under the hammer today, 6% down. It is immediately out of the green zone. I also realized recently that Nestle is missing in my consumption chart. Need to add the second largest stock. Overall, the consumption pack also lackluster didn't go anywhere. But the trading volumes were pretty high for most of the large stocks. Market bet improved towards the later part of the day. 21 sectors were up. Varun Beverages was up 4.6%. That kept the beverages sector up. But select alcohol stocks were also doing well. Radico Khitan up 2.5%. Chemicals came under good profit booking today. Asian Paints Pity Light. Now this sector will move with the crude prices, which are a little high today. LNT up, RBNL down. Cement, con cement continues to have very low buying interest. Trent was up a percent. Pesa Bazaar was up 3%. Insurance companies suddenly have lost interest ever since the GST meeting was inconclusive. Remember, most of the top stops in this list except LIC were in the green before the meeting. Profit booking in investment banking, Motiyal Oswal was the only one up 1%. All top four players in heavy machinery were up today. The sector was up half percent. Pharma only DRL continues to be in non-green zone. Real estate minor uptick led by Prestige 4.5% up. Today the Inox pack was up in renewables but Suzlon corrected. Kalyan is up 2% more but it is right now out of the green zone. Titan Page Industries both up 07 and 0.8%. Today was a day of investments. Union Bank I actually purchased yesterday I forgot to mention. Today I averaged slightly lower on REC which has fallen a bit. It is a good stock to have at lower prices in your portfolio. I bought IT stocks persistent Infosys at CL Tech. I already have TCS in my portfolio. And I finally bought back Mrs. Bechter's. It is a 40% from the time I bought it last time. And I sold it at 5% profit. So it has effectively gone up nearly 35% from the time I sold it about 10 days back. Today's nugget is about a very small alcohol company called Associated Alcohols and Breweries. It was founded in 1989. So pretty old. The reason I look at this particular number is that old companies have seen many recessions, many problems. Market cap of 1774 crores. So this may be the company with lowest market cap in my portfolio right now. The stock is trading at a PE of 31. The industry PE is 44. Sales are smallish only 855 crore, 108 crore debt. So you might ask what is special in this stock? Nothing looks out of ordinary. 
Now quarterly results, let's start backward. The June results 252, 242, 190, 170, 156. So some hiccups in this period. It's a manufacturing business, so expense are typically in line with the sales. Operating margin 11%, 8%, 11, 11, 12, 8, 9, 7. The highest was around December 2021. This was perhaps because raw material prices are very low after the pandemic. Net profit of 18 bucks is the highest since December 21. This is probably stuck inventory because of the pandemic. June is at 18 crore, so you would expect September and December to be better only. The whiskey that manufacturer are typically sold more in Q2, Q3 and even Q4, which are slightly colder. Spending per share also is highest in June compared to the previous 7-8 quarters. Hopefully this EPS should repeat only, which means this year they will end up with probably 40 rupees kind of EPS. The recorded EPS here is 31, 33% higher. Annual sales have similar trend 855, 750, 9, 701, 513, 436. Operating margin 10, 10, 9, 16, 11. This period was considerably higher. And there's a probably a reason why this OPM is lower and I'll talk about it. Now one thing I want to point out, the TTM sales are 855. Currently the borrowings are 108 crore. You would expect an interest payout of something like 10 to 15 crores on these borrowings. So if profit is roughly 68 to 75 crores right now and there is 10 to 15 crores of interest payout, once that loan finishes or reduces, that money will make significant dent to the profitability of the company, which will also increase the OPM. This is one of the reasons I was talking about that OPM has taken a hit because they are perhaps expanding and have taken loans. See the borrowings here, 11, 11, 5. Suddenly the borrowings are reasonably high. Look at the capital work in progress, 110, 63 compared to 2, 11, 9, 24. This is a sign of expansion. This is one weakness, no FIs, DIs. This is also a strength because the day FIs and DIs notice this stock, if they find it good, they will have to buy. Promoters will probably not sell, they will have to buy from public, which is 40% holding and then the stock should skyrocket hopefully. I have no idea whether that will happen or not and if it happens then when. Now let me take you through their website a bit. These are ABLs in-house brands. They are not the popular ones or the costly ones. Probably meant for mass consumption. These brands are manufactured under license. These are among the highest selling brands in India. Now the thing which caught my eye is the contract manufacturing part which is minuscule in their numbers and maybe the capital work in progress is to increase this capacity. Some of these brands are pretty popular in the Indian markets and this may also be a candidate for export at a later stage. Now this portfolio could increase in size considerably. The OPMs may be low. This is what I was mentioning as the point two. But you don't have to find a customer. The customers will be found by the brand. Your problem is only capacity and manufacturing and keeping the quality very high at the international level. Once you have set up this particular business and pipeline, other businesses may come to you for cost cutting in autopilot mode and increase the capacity with you significantly if you are delivering well and are low cost. Their strengths, the International Brand Association, which is hard, they have done the hard work already. The weakness part, they are a lot smaller player in a very large sector. Opportunity wise, the contract manufacturing part, the potential is huge. It is infinite compared to their current size technically. The alcohol consumption volumes in India are on the rise. And if they do well, the outsource manufacturing part could be done for other Asian countries also in terms of exports. Threats, very little muscle power when you are manufacturing for such large brands. You can't negotiate. You have to take whatever they offer or it becomes an order cancelled. The threat biggest for me as an investor is a delisting risk. If these businesses do pretty well, being small cap, they don't care too much for their investors. That is why FII and DIE stakes are literally zero. So I'm not gonna put a lot of money in this because the risk is real, but I have put some money to start with. Let's see if the stock falls. I'll increase my exposure a bit. For a good business, good company in a niche space, it is not easy to replicate the success with a 35 years behind them. Hope this information was useful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.